Hi guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So I am finally back from Asia. This is the second day I'm officially in Toronto. Yesterday was getting used to all the jet lag and stuff, but I really do feel like I'm a little bit more adjusted now. Secret, I napped three times yesterday, but I really want to get the ball rolling with these winter videos and I'm so excited to be doing my first official video for all 100,000 of you. Thank you guys so much for the support and honestly, it's just unbelievable. I am so, so grateful. So this video is going to be about three of my favorite winter coats that I'll be rocking this season as well as how I style them. I will be doing a more heavy duty winter layer dressing type of video like I did last year. So. Stay tuned for that. This video is just more about the coats and I'm gonna kinda of go more in depth about why I love these three and why I feel like that they are staples in my wardrobe for winter. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. I showed this coat last year and it is my puffer coat. I know puffer coats are really, really in season right now, but this is not that traditional 90s feel. This is definitely more sporty and more fitted, but it is my Lululemon puffer coat. It's really great because you can layer it with so many different things. It also has a pocket on the inside so it can kind of go out and roll up into a little ball for travel. I really like this. It's super, super warm. It's down filled and I skied in it before too. So definitely really good for activities as well in, in the cold weather. Um, I got this when I was, I think 16. So this is like eight years old. So it's really old, but it really has held its shape. Lululemon, a good on ya. But I'm gonna try link some similar stuff because I really like the look of these kind of fitted puffer winter coats. I know Montclair is a super, super expensive option for those. So I'm gonna try to find a dupe for the Montclair jackets as well, just because I really like the way they look. I like how form-fitting they are to the body and they look flattering on absolutely everybody. The way I styled my puffer coat is with a pair of denim, my new superstar Adidas sneakers, as well as just this black bodysuit that I'm wearing in all the outfits, and then a toque. You can't go wrong with a toque in Toronto weather. I just think they're really, really cute, as well as keep your ears and your head super, super warm. The next jacket that I have here is another staple of mine and it is my Zara Shearling Aviator Coat. Now this is actually surprisingly really, really warm. This was the only jacket I brought to Montreal last January or February, I can't remember, but it was frigid in Montreal and this definitely held up its end of the bargain. It is pretty, it's pretty inexpensive compared to the acne coat that's a few grand and I think this one is around a hundred two hundred dollars I will try to link the exact one if they still have it in the description box below but this one is really really great it just has like that faux leather detailing and the inside is this faux fur it is so so warm I think it also gives you a really nice edge I really like this like it goes with absolutely everything even if I'm with even if I put on a pair of joggers and a crew neck, I put this on and it still looks super, super cute. So the way I styled it for you guys today is with a pair of flared corduroys that you guys know that I thrifted. I'll try to link that haul somewhere in the cards here. Um, and then the same black bodysuit. And what I did under this to show you guys how I layer is I put my blazer under. This is just a checked one that I thrifted. I'll try laying something similar once again, but I really think that you can layer jackets under jackets. It just gives you that layer of warmth and that way you can have a complete outfit under your jacket without compromising any style. And I still think it looks really good and adds just a layer of interest to your outfit. The reason why I added this tartan is just because I thought it looked a little bit different and went with the whole type of vibe. I also threw on a beanie as well because I really Really felt like it went with this kind of um, like cool girl chic type of look and yeah super super happy with this purchase I love that Zara comes out with it every single year and I highly highly recommend this coat it is definitely worth your money and then the third coat is the last coat that I picked up on my Asia trip and even though I haven't worn this yet this winter I could definitely see myself wearing this over and over again it is kind of a thinner coat so I recommend this more for if you are a driving type of girl and you're driving to and from running errands like that um, or you're Ubering somewhere because it's definitely a little bit thinner. So it is my dress coat from Uniqlo and I picked this up in Japan, but they also have it in North America. So I'll link it down below. The reason why I include this in my winter coats, even though it doesn't look like much, 
is because it is actually wool and cashmere which means that it's going to be really really warm so even though the layer looks a little bit thin it's going to keep you quite warm as long as you put the right things under it so under I just have my long sleeve once again another tip is if you want to wear a long sleeve like this but you want to stay warm try long underwear Uniqlo has some really good heat tech products as well um, so you could definitely get this look and also keep a little bit extra toasty if you will but I love this coat I wore it with a pair of crop flares as well as some sock boots I think it looks really cool like really really dressy you automatically look chic when you put on a jacket like this I love the silhouette it has enough room under that you can layer big chunky turtlenecks and the last Piece, I want to know which one was your favorite um, just to finish up the look so the first one I have here is this faux fur type of stole and I got this from Aritzia I believe two years ago and I really like it because you put it on top of any jacket and it just makes you look like a mafia boss which is something I'm a little bit into just as a bit of confidence uh, so the faux fur just makes this jacket look super luxe and also keeps your neck quite warm I love the look that this gives I think it looks really 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 cute and different Different. or you can go with a blanket scarf which is another go-to of mine this big one is from Zara and I just like to wrap it around once make it really chunky around my neck wrap all my hair in and just feel super super cozy but yeah overall this is the type of jacket that'll be good with dressier outfits if you're running to meetings if you're going to work um, if you're going to address your event like a wedding I feel like this is a staple in everybody's closet a really nice good dressy winter coat so that wraps up my first video officially back in Toronto from Asia let me know if you guys like this one by thumbsing it up if you haven't subscribed already please do and enjoy the Ray Hive also if you guys want to see my outfits I try to post an outfit every single day on Instagram kind of been slacking since I just got back from my trip but I'm gonna start that up again so head on over there for the latest outfit details and whatnot so I'm gonna wrap this up because I gotta go and pick up some packages which I'm also really excited about there's gonna be a ton of new videos to come so I hope you guys stay tuned and I'll talk to you guys later bye guys <laughs>